Welcome back to Culey's Connecticut Nine Ball Open. Uh, this is a world ranking, nine ball ranking event. Uh, we're at US One Billiards, which is Jason Shaw's uh, pool hall in Connecticut. Uh, this is MH Potting Penglis. I'm joined again in the commentary box with Imran Majid. Thanks for being here, Imran. Hello, guys. An absolute pleasure to be here. Yeah. We had we had you commentate on the previous match, and everybody was watching. For about 25 minutes. Fully understands minutes, yeah. how quick that match was. <laughs> the most incredible match. Yeah, if you guys don't know, uh, Shane broken round seven in a row. Uh, he actually broken round nine, but seven consecutive racks. Uh, put a demolition job on the slayer, Lee Van Corteza. Yeah, and poor Lee Van. He got to the table twice in, in one rack. A couple of safeties. I think he was actually trying to bank the two ball on that second one. But that was it. Shane Shane took over. But what a matchup we have here. Yeah, the Eagle Eye against um, the informed Anton Raga. Yeah, and Anton, we, I commented on his match earlier this morning, played phenomenally well. He's playing really, really well. He knocked out Copigny. Well, um, his last two matchroom events, he's got to the final twice, I believe. Uh, the first rack is a dry break from Jason. Would you and the, the way these tables have been playing with the one ball in the side, would you call that a mistake? Um, he probably mishit him, or, or it could be um, a bad rack by the referee. Oh, ouchie, that's um, that's possible, even with a template. If you don't get them all perfectly touching, it can um, have an impact on the rack. That was a nice shot. He had to play that with some inside. It was a better shot than it actually looked. He's a little, th little thin on this uh, two ball, but can go across the table twice. Well, maybe three times, actually. One, two. Okay, twice. In good position here. his window here on the four ball yes pretty natural and the four ball leads a uh, natural shape for the five everything's connected here yeah he's got a nice layout yeah he's got he's got a nice demeanor about himself as well as he goes around the table not too hurried playing within himself just um nice momentum i would say he has Yeah, and he doesn't waste any time. Uh, his last match, he really did. He put on a bit of a clinic too. He did make a couple of errors, which swung. We thought he was going to totally whitewash that match, and then uh, Copinier came right? back. Copinier came back. Yeah, nine, nine seven. Yeah, he is the best player in the Philippines at the moment. Gives all the players like the likes of Dennis Okulo. He gives them a handicap. Really? Money matches. Yeah. You're kidding me. All of them. He gives them the seven or the eight ball. Yeah. Wow. Well, he must be very good. I'd not seen him until uh, until this morning's match and uh, very impressed. And Dennis Orcolo, he's known for like his money matches, isn't he? Yeah, the money match king. That was his name for uh, for many years. But and there may, pots and balls. may well be a new kid kid on the block. Wow. I say new. He has been playing, you know, underground matches in the Philippines for years and years. Sure. But he's uh, just hit must, the tournament scene now. Must have learned his now. skills somewhere. Yeah. yeah, just hit the tournament scene now. And he's, um, yeah. He's 25 years old. Yeah. Fresh faced. You know, people might think that Jason Shaw has a home field advantage, but these tables are brand new. The cloth's brand new. And when the pros came in the day before to practice, he was too busy, of course, organizing and making sure that the uh, the place was ready. And uh, Oh, he's nearly going to scratch there. And he's actually got a shot on the one now. He wouldn't have had otherwise. 
he hit the far titty of the side pocket or knuckle and uh, gave him shape on the one. Thank you very much. The point. The point, yeah. <laughs> That's an American terminology, the, the titty, right? Yep. Yeah, you hear, it, you hear it a lot. Yeah. I'm trying not to say it today, but... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> We say knuckle or far jaw. You know? And of course it's... Looks like he's got a nice angle to get on the three. Float down table. Three to four could be a bit tricky. May have to draw back off the three and play the four long. And he walks around with such confidence, doesn't he? He always looks like he's yeah, not he's... bothered by any of this. Mm -hmm. And I always notice Jason Shaw, he has such a sort of an easy looking stance. It's like his legs are fairly close together and he just bends down. Not quite like some of these other more sort of elaborate, yeah. stretched out stances. Jason's always had that kind of um, lackadaisical approach, um, which serves, serves, serves him well, actually, I think. I don't think he's too big on alignment and getting down on the shot right. He's just such a natural yeah. talent. Seems he just, just wander in. He knows his, yeah. He's going to make the ball. He's just stand how you like, really. That's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? Ball, yeah. Let that be a lesson to everyone out there. The stance don't matter. Just yeah. get your cue in line and point it in the right direction. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it works. Yours is more kind of snooker style, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's uh, less snooker style than it used to be. I have adapted my uh, stance over the years. Because it's not so compact as it was when because I first the game's played. different different stance for a different yeah, game yeah my 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 cueing arm is a little away away from my body and not so compact near my body as you would like in snooker mm -hmm. uh because obviously you have to yank that cue ball around the table and you don't want to uh, your arm hitting your chest oh. you know so you want to yeah have some uh a little bit more freedom freedom distance from your body to oh. the cue cue arm yeah Well, match tied up, 1-1. One, one. Let's see if Jason can get uh, get the one in the side yeah. on the break here. A better break than the first one, which was dry, which might not have been his fault. Usually a very good breaker of the balls, Jason. Ooh. Going. Another dry one. Wow. That's not a very good sign, Jason. And a nice open table Need for Anton. To. Yeah, it's rather concerning that for Jason Shaw fans. Two dry breaks in a row. Interesting uh, way to get what looked like an almost certain position. Uh, get yourself in trouble. Yeah, the 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 one was quite thin, so uh, he didn't plan on hitting the five ball there. He was going through that gap to go in and out, then, huh? Yeah, if he didn't hit it, he would be nice on this two. I think he can still cut it in. He can go one, two, three rails in the back row. All, come all the way up to the top. Yep, yeah, just like the, that. The slide, slide, nicely done. Could have done with a bit more speed on the ball, but it looks very thin to cut in. Might might opt for the bank here. Yeah, because he doesn't really need to move the cue ball, does he? 
Just do whatever he needs to do to get this bank in. Cutting the ball is also an option, but of course then you've got that big sort of snooker zone that he's got to no negotiate his way in and out of. There is the bank. Expected him to get that, and he expected to get that as well. Yeah, and he, he did have a nice angle on that bank, so he did was able to send the cue ball down table. And from that kind of angle, these pockets seem to play tight. This Sliding down the rail, like you were saying before, on, on a new table is making them play easy at the moment. And so what, they'll sort of play a little bit tougher as they get played in. That's right, yeah. Jason's recently uh, changed to a carbon fiber shaft, so I don't think he's completely dialed in with it yet. But um, such a natural shooter, I don't think it will be a problem. He was a, a, later, a late adapter, or a, a le he came to carbon fiber more yeah, recently? Yeah, um, I don't know why he changed, maybe got bored with wood and wanted to try out carbon fiber and he probably thought everybody's using carbon fiber these days let me give it a, a go i was noticing out there though there's still a lot of maple out there in the field and i uh, billy thought it's using keel wood which yeah is maple but i think it's just sort of toasted a little bit basically yeah yeah and what do you shoot with uh carbon fiber you do yeah yeah they say once you go black you never go back <laughs> yeah so uh i'm sticking with my carbon fiber yeah, I love it. And you I wear like it. you wear a glove. I wear a glove. Yeah, that was a bad you... miss by Jason. Oh wow. Yeah, it was a bit um, rushed. Took it for granted, I think, and uh, you can't do that at this top level. Bad mistake. That was a bad shot as oh, yeah. well. Totally underhit that. Lucky for him, he's laid nice, pretty good on the bank. Yeah. Yeah, he came just far enough, didn't he? He's already missed one bank, so let's see if he gets this one. Yep, straight in, not a problem. Yeah, that's going to bother Jason Shaw. Yeah, Jason hit that eight ball right into the rail. Yeah. Oh, someone's saying on the chat that Jason uses a Perry's graphite shaft, so it's not carbon fiber. Thanks for that, W Hawkeye. Graphite. They used to make graphite snooker cues back in the day, and uh, yeah, they were never really considered very good, though, were they? No, they weren't. People yeah, didn't like them. Yeah, yeah. So this is a, a new thing, and they're frictiony, they're draggy, so you kind of have to wear a glove, right? More. Well, with carbon fiber. Or well, even fiber? carbon fiber. Yeah, yeah most, most of them. No, yeah, there's yeah. a couple of them that are a yeah. little bit different, but the mm -hmm. vast majority of them are just carbon fiber tubes with no finish. Yeah, and they drag just a little bit more. If you wear a glove, it's a it, it's a, it's a mute point. That's a good break. There is a it's brand that makes uh, a pea shower cues out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. um, have pioneered a, a completely new. Uh, it's carbon fiber, but it's mixed with another fiber, and uh, it slides much better than the simple carbon fiber tubes. Okay. That most of the other ones are made out of. And. Uh, it's going airborne. It's going to land right on the two. And uh, a little, little draw on it. Nice shot. Yeah, carbon fiber has its advantages, disadvantages. Um, I like the advantages. 
because I travel a lot around the world. It's never going to warp in your yeah. case or bend. Yeah, they're, they're, they're virtually uh, indestructible, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I do a lot of Q repairs uh, back in Wisconsin. And, uh, mm -hmm. uh, of course, yeah, a lot of players with their maple shafts, they drop them, they ding them, they shaft cleanings, get out the, you know, refinish them. And uh, the carbon fiber users aren't coming come to me for anything uh, of that nature. So a pretty good lay of the land here for Anton. So you play a little kiss on the seven ball here and just nudge it towards the corner pocket. I'm not sure. I think it would just draw away and play the seven in the same pocket. Yeah. Right. Right. You are. Has a very good cue ball, Anton, from what I've seen. Well, if you play 10 hours a day, you're going to have a good cue ball after a while, aren't you? You would hope so. Yeah. That seems more true for some players than others. What's your uh, practice trading regime like, uh, Imran? I've never really been um, a practice person. Um, I still have to practice, obviously, but I don't do six, seven hours like some players. I do my two or three hours more more constructive practice than just hitting balls and stuff. I don't pot any balls. I don't make balls when I practice. I practice the break. Sometimes I'll do like a hundred breaks. Wow. Um, I'll practice my kicking and my safety. There's no point mm -hmm. potting balls because I know I'm going to do that forever. You do that. That's, yeah. You've you've got that down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nice break. Does have a bank on the two. And his cue ball will go around the houses and have shape on the three. So kind of a do or die shot here. I yeah. reckon he shoots it. Yeah, and he, he was playing very aggressive in his earlier matches uh, too. Yeah, at the top level, they, gonna... they do want to... Because if you play a safe, your opponent's going to play a kick and then you've got to hope that you get another, you know, that it yeah, comes out okay. Yeah, no. You want to take the bull by the horns. There it is. There's no better outcome than that one. Three ball goes. There you go. No marker needed. Referee definitely takes that magic wreck out. Not too much problem here, is there? No, pretty good. Um, gonna negotiate the five to the six. He's straight, so he's probably just going to draw back. I mean, these guys play rotation, 15 balls on the table sure. in number sequence, so nine ball is a piece of cake. Yeah. You know? That's uh, probably the most common game in the Philippines, rotation. Yeah, that's why I practice as well sometimes. Rotation. 15 balls in, yep. in number sequence. Sure. Yeah. I play the ghost, 15 ball ghost. Can you beat the ghost in uh, 15 ball It's took rotation? me about three years and I've beaten that's, it once. That's very, uh, very uh, difficult. About 100 sets, yeah. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah, it's well, very a tough. Great, yeah. A great training. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome training, yeah. You come and play nine ball afterwards, it's, it's a walk in the park. Yeah. <laughs> Just got to be careful getting position here on the eight. Yeah, no problem at all. Perfect. Yeah, and the first half of the rack in your 15 ball rotation is tougher than the second half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot with, of... With all the clutter. Banks and uh, uh, combos and caroms you have to play with in 15 ball because you don't always get a good lay of the land. There's so many clusters. Well, break and run from Anton there.
And this is this is what he did against Copinyi this morning. And Jason Shaw's missed eight ball. Is uh, you might look back and that is quite a bit of a turning point. You know, Absolutely, this, this could, could could be the Jason Shaw show right now. Yeah, yeah, it could be the telling factor. Yeah, that eight ball. It's early days yet. Four one in a race to ten. But as we saw in the last match with Shane, you know, one mistake and uh, <laughs> your opponent can actually win the whole set. And that's why Jason is not worried because he's planning on doing that. Yeah, when I'm he gets sure. the chance. He's, yeah. he's sitting there thinking, you know. But if he keeps on breaking dry, <laughs> it's going right. to be tough. Jason just should try and emulate what he's doing. If your break's not working, just and your opponent's is, just try and copy what he's doing. Yeah. I'm actually quite surprised, though, at the, you know, the box, which obviously narrows your... Uh, the places you can put the cue ball, but they're not even going to the edge of the box on this cut break. They're getting... They're, they're, they're moving the cue ball in slightly. Yeah. Um, well, Anton's is virtually in the middle of the box. Yeah. Yeah, more so than anyone else. Close to the center. Yeah, yeah. I was doing that in my earlier matches as well. It was working pretty good, but then my the next match, it wasn't working on that particular table. You've got to try and read read the table and see how it's breaking. Every table breaks different, obviously. Mm. Yeah, pretty good safe. Might have to go behind the four and kick this. One rail, two rails. Not sure if he's got an edge. Yeah, not a lot of space is there around the, behind the four. Oh, that's nice. He could see quite a lot of the two ball. That's a good result. Yeah, good shot, to it, Jason. I would, I would feel Jason desperately needs this rack, you know. Otherwise, uh, could be an uphill task. Do you think he's going to play a soft kick shot here and try and get the the two ball through that gap by the four? I think he's going to go two rails and hit. Oh, one rail. Oh, what a shot. Yeah, that's okay. beautiful. That's perfect. I didn't see that shot straight away. See the Filipinos um, at the kicking and safety. That's why they're miles ahead. They've got that side of the game down. Obviously, it helps when you you grow up playing with Efren and Bustamante. Yeah. You know, you see the way they kick and, you know. Yeah, and these guys are household names in the Philippines, aren't they? Yeah. The the Filipino public, even the non pool playing Filipino public, yeah, mm -hmm. pays attention uh, to pool. I used to go to the Philippines quite a lot. There used to be a lot of tournaments out there. I used to go to Manila like three or four times a year, but uh, tournaments seem to have died down there now. Hmm. It was a pretty good kick. It's got some distance. Tough shot for Anton if he's going to attack, but I think it's just going to stun behind the six. Soft stun. Well controlled. Nicely executed. Yeah. That shot wasn't easy. <clears throat> See how Jason kicks this. One rail with a soft speed. Good things can happen if you make contact here. Uh, left right. him uh, shot in the side. Yeah, he had a chance there to get lucky. He also would have liked to see the two will go in, but he got a good hit, but it's not enough, is it? He's got to mind his work here getting on the five. Because uh, the seven's in the path of the natural position. 
He's going forward with top right. Okay, mm -hmm. I see. Now he's going to swing round one, two, three rails. Yeah, makes sense. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So he takes the seven out of the equation this way. Smart thinking. A little bit steeper than he wanted. Yeah, but um, it's not a problem. Anything but straight. These pockets do play quite generous, so uh, no reason to get straight in. And an angle to get back down on the eight ball. That's what he's looking for. Yeah, he doesn't want to shoot the six in the top. He, want, he wants to play it in the side. And as you said, he wants to look for that angle. Didn't, didn't play for that. Little and nudge. that's a scratch. Oh, wow. That's a scratch. Bad mistake by Anton. Didn't expect that. Yeah. There's no real need for that. The Jason Shaw fans out there. Breathe a sigh of relief. I've got to say a big shout out to one of the sponsors, Nightshot.com. Uh, they are mine and Jason's sponsor. You can see their logo on the top right hand part of the screen. It's now changed to Rasson. But that's where you'll see the Rotating, sponsors. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, for those of you, you guys who don't know, is uh, Nightshot are the biggest uh, billiard suppliers in the Middle East. Um, oh. Uh, sports equipment and billiard tables, cues, you name it, yep. Uh, Jason Shaw just opened up a pool room in Dubai uh, with Nightshot. I just went over there recently for the opening. How is it? Yeah, it's lovely pool room. Beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Very nice pool, pool room. Plus uh, chandeliers, really nice uh, wow. furniture and uh, decor. It's got some lovely ambience about it as well, yeah. And what kind of tables do they have? Uh, they got night shot tables, which night are shot. very good, yeah, very good. The Royal Table, which is the high end of the night shot um, tables, uh, they're really good, really. Built like oxes, um, yeah. You could compare them with a, a Brunswick Gold Crown, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a better break by Jason, but no cigar on the two ball. Yeah, that's Pretty unlucky how the balls have spread, really. I mean, that just comes down to luck. He did hit a good break. Cue ball central. No shot. And even if he plays a good safety and maintains an advantage, the three still doesn't go. It, it does go in the bottom left corner pocket. Uh, it looks like a tricky rack, but it's actually not. If you get on the three, the four is a carom on the seven. Hmm. Um, it's quite a doable rack if you do get a chance. Sure. Left hand spin, nice control, good shot. Now, if the nine wasn't there, he could have maybe played a, a jump, but um, he's going to have to kick this. With good speed. I mean, it doesn't really look like it's going safe. Yeah, with, with he'll, anything he'll other be than... no. oh, he aiming to just lay on it. Yeah, that's a good containing shot. Yeah, nice shot. Yeah, good hit. Jason was looking to see if he could play it off the seven, but I don't think that presents itself. Is there a way for him now to get the cue ball behind the, the six and the eight? Mm, no. I mean, it is doable, but you're going to... You're going to let the two ball loose. What, what uh, do you like here? Um, I, I like thinning it and maybe going back behind the uh, nine and five. I mean, if you don't get the snooker, you're not selling out as well. Mm. 
Maybe he's just um, getting his cue ball behind the nine and the two back down table. I don't see any future in this shot. Unless he's... Oh, wow. Coming this that is way. incredible because he has achieved it. Look at that. He's going to get behind the five. Okay, that was a good shot. Yeah, that was a good he shot. He plucked that out of nowhere, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, the speed was uh, perfect on that shot. Me, personally, I wouldn't have played it because uh, nice. you have to get the speed perfect. Yeah, and know exactly where the two ball is going to end up. Yeah. Incredible shot. This is a tricky situation as well for Jason. Maybe he's just got to thin it and try and come back behind the nine or five. Yeah, that's all he could do. Oh, he didn't want to hit those. Wow. I've got to say, that's probably the the new shaft. Yeah, he's not so dialed in with it. Um, I'm sure if he played that with his maple shaft, he, he would have got a good cue ball there. Yeah, hmm. Underspun it, I think, there. Try to go into the six eight to develop it, uh, and have a shot on the three. Obviously, yeah. yeah. With the four and the five down table, it's not impossible for him to play some kind of break shot. But uh, no, if if he gets straight in on the four, he needs a little bit of right spin here and leaves a half ball shot on the five so you can play one rail into the six eight i'm not sure if he's got that angle yeah he's looking at it now half ball shot on the five from there from the rail into the same pocket that the four is going into yeah into the same pocket leave an angle to bust um the six eight open or he could play it behind it and hook him behind the eight So he just pointed his cue onto the rail there where he wants his cue ball to land. So, okay. You got and, then, and then into the balls. One. And then into the balls, yeah. I would say probably somewhere near the first diamond after the side pocket. Touch of right-hand spin. Just oh. missed it. Too much spin, yeah. It was a good effort. Wow. Now, has he got any action on the eight ball cross side bank or even a treble? <laughs> Tricky situation. A treble off two rails. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm not sure what he's going to do here. He's looked like he's going to play a snooker somehow. One rail behind the eight. Yeah, one rail behind the eight. Overhit it. Just yeah. leaked out. Yeah. Now, Jason has a good chance to get behind the eight ball. Hmm. He may just go ahead and, and rip at this bank. I know he's tempted because he likes to attack. I'll go ahead and bank it. Let's have a... No, he's playing the right shot. Turning yeah. off it. Yeah, he's playing the right shot. He's not got a snooker, though. He's given a chance no, to Anton here. No, he hasn't got a snooker. Was there no safety where he could kind of get behind, leave the cue ball up here behind the eight and send the six ball back down? Yeah, there is that. It's, it's a little bit touchy. The cue ball's traveling a long distance, and you go over a little bit of chalk or dust, and it's going to veer off. So pros tend to stay away from those, although he did attempt it, and, yeah, it slightly moved off, and, and there you go. You sell out. So, uh, yeah, I'm surprised he played that, actually. But. Pros don't usually play those. Hmm. Ooh, oh, bad wow. miss. You've got to aim far jaw there, uh, Jason. He knows that. I mean, it has been tough for Jason. In his defense, he's been working so hard to get this tournament up and running. Yeah. With, and in the short space of time, a week, I think they had to get this all ready. And, uh, you know, he's been working relentless hours. So 
to try and concentrate and do all that stuff as well, you know. And still have a million questions of people coming to you. Absolutely. Oh, that's a bad shot. Oh, wow. Didn't want to pop the seven. Although he's still okay on the eight. Not the best performance I've seen Anton in a in a match so far. No, he's okay. Yeah, I've got to put that down to Jason's new shaft. He wouldn't be missing those balls with his um, maple shaft. Now, would that make a player just want to go get the old one and switch back? Or No, I think he's made a, he's gonna a commitment now. Yeah, he's just going to persevere and go through the motions. Because uh, every player will, once they make the transition from wood to carbon, they will have, you know, um, doubts. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it just doesn't feel what you're used to. Yeah, the the feeling is completely different to wood. And, uh, you know, there's quite a few adjustments you have to make. And so that'll be going in the back of his head right now. Oh, what, have I, what am I doing with this shaft? Where's my wood shaft? But uh, you just got to persevere and get on with it, yeah. Mm. Rack number seven it is 4-2 to the Philippines. Yeah, you see he's using a little bit of left inside spin on the ball and trying to um, draw the cue ball around the nine to get it kind of central. Has got a combo, 1-3. This should be uh, pretty doable for Raga because... Um, He's a ro rotation player, plays a lot of combinations. Usually tougher combinations than this. I'm going to have to start playing more rotation. Yeah, um, to all you budding nine ball players out there, don't don't go and throw nine balls out the ta on the table when you're practicing. Chuck 15 balls on the table and uh, see how you do. Now, not only did he not make that ball, but he also didn't get himself no, a shot no. on the one ball, which yeah, is, yeah. turned out to his favor, but that went, that shot went wrong. Bit of a problem here. I don't know why he would have put the cue ball there. I would have thought more central table to make sure you have a shot. He's going to rip at this one rail. Yeah, with speed, it might... Yeah. Make yeah. something. Yeah. Good things and, can happen. And the three ball was hanging too, and he's now got the one over the pocket. I don't know if he's... Can he see it full ball, though? It looks like he's just getting straight down to it. So he's... Oh, he can. He can. He can. He can hit the left hand edge of the one. That'll do nicely. Yeah. Good shot. Well, yeah. Well open judged. table. He's got to take this chance now. I think he will. Uh, for me, I'd like Jason to slow down a touch here, just to get back in the mix, if you know what I mean. He's overhit that a little bit, but shouldn't be a problem. You can play two rails for the seven in the same pocket. Distance not a problem for Jason. Also hails from a snooker background, as we all do from the UK. And British pool. And British pool, yeah, yeah. Obviously tight pockets, yeah. And he did very well, didn't he, in the in the British pool? world before he switched over yeah yeah he's actually a world champion at the game yeah black ball it's called he won the world championships in france it's a newer name though isn't it when i was a kid growing up and sneaking into the pubs and playing pool there was they, we never called it that is that just now 
with the advent and the comparison to American Pool, which we didn't have to do back then because we didn't know any better? Um, that's a good question. I don't know why they called it Black Ball, but um, yeah. So they I, want to distinguish it from Eight Ball, and it's kind of the same concept, it's like the same it sort was, of game. Back in the day, it was just Pool, wasn't pool. it? Yeah, that's reds, the only thing we called it. Pool. Yep, you that's go right. down the pub, you see reds and yellows, yep. and you just call it Pool. But... And you foul and you miss your next visit to the yeah. table. Now they started to. Even Chinese eight ball, they call it hay ball now. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's a sponsorship thing or something. And that's a relatively new thing, isn't it? It's like yeah. a nine foot snooker table with American pool balls. Yeah, yeah. Is it's that... not a new thing. No, no. They've been around a few years now. Not Chinese eight ball, yeah. Well, relatively, though. I mean. Yeah, relatively in, in the grand scheme because of things. Because it is yeah. basically the rules of American eight ball. Yes, right? yes, yes. And the balls are American pool balls. Yeah, on very so tight. It's kind pockets. of like a, an interesting sort of hybrid. Yeah, yeah, it's a hybrid, on exactly. A, you hit the nail on the head there, yeah. On what's best described, I think, as a nine-foot snooker table, really. Mm -hmm. um, concerning dry break again by Jason. That's three dry breaks in a row, I believe. Has left a cut shot on the one ball. Needs to find a path for the two ball. Overcuts it by mile, nearly headbutted the ceiling. He jumped up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel, but you know, obviously this match is not at all similar to the Shane Van Boning match where we were just seeing some perfect play, really. Yeah, it was, there was. There's no critique of uh, of Shane's performance there, was there? I don't, there no, was no, no mistake. One way trap traffic, an absolute demolition job. I know both these players are capable of playing like that. Yeah. Does but he go into gonna... the six here to develop the three? Yeah, I would have thought so. Yeah, nicely done. Yeah, very nice. And Anton was playing kind of like that earlier today, although he didn't run a whole bunch in a row. Um, they always seem to be random problems that didn't but he he was playing so well jason should find his groove here because uh anton's let him off the hook a few times in this match already he's probably thinking oh well he's a good player but he's not playing too well right now let me yeah and I let think me try and uh, make a match of this that's right that's true of both players really they both they both uh slipped up yeah some errors so he needs to get an angle on the five to get over for the six. Oh, someone just told me on the chat, hay is black in China, hence the the word hay ball. Ah. So, yeah, it's all about black ball. Black, black, black. Yeah. He's just conceded and left himself this angled shot. He, he doesn't mind it. No, that, that well, that's the right shot. You don't want to be straight in. You don't want to be straight to, on the seven yeah. and find that other window. Anything no, right. but straight in, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, he's back in the match. There's one little tricky shot to... There you go. Yep, 5-4. He's knocking on the door. <laughs> There we go. That's better, Jason. Okay, now he's got a break. But like we were saying, he doesn't have necessarily the home field advantage, you might guess, this being his pool hall, because all these tables are brand new, and he didn't get to practice before the tournament. Exactly. Um, so he's really not played on these tables, and so the question of dialing down the uh, the break, what do you have to do to adjust to make to get that one ball? which at the moment keeps going a little bit too far forward yeah, well, for him. Yeah, he just needs to find the sweet spot on the one, Yeah, which he will do. Just cut it a little bit thinner? Does that make it go thinner a little bit Thinner or higher? thicker, whatever. Yeah. You should just gauge from where the one ball is heading on the rail. At the moment, Jason's one ball is heading before the side pocket. So he's probably got to hit it a little bit thinner. And now he's going to the middle like yeah. Anton. And yeah, experiment, change the spot of the cue ball, hit it thicker, thinner, just find a sweet spot. because he does usually break very well. Mm. 
another dry break. That's quite amazing. Four dry breaks and uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, can't run a seven pack if you can't make a ball on the break. <laughs> but yeah, not just the one, but the other balls didn't go in either. Yeah. Complete contrast from the last match, right? Yeah, incredible. Yeah, pretty open table. Once it gets on the five, I think that's all she wrote. This shot's a little tricky, though, isn't it? Um, I think he just yeah. If he if he goes forward, try to nudge the six. That can be tricky. He could just draw off the side rail, play in the middle of the table. And he's just gone down to point to that window. Yeah, he, he, he wants uh, a natural angle on the three to get to the four. So he's going to try and play intricate position here. Well, okay, no, he did what I said. Yeah, the, the fail-safe way, yeah, just take everything out of the equation. Uh, probably plays the four inside here. Under hit it, did play the four inside. Anton not at the races. That was a better shot than it looked. He played that with some inside spin. We do have the matchroom crew here, Brendan Moore and uh, Jake Aspie, making sure everything's uh, running smoothly. Yeah. And they are very nicely allowing us to stream this. Yes, it's a nice uh, result for you guys. So it looks like Anton's going to take a two-rack lead. Hasn't performed his best so far on this set, but uh, everyone's human. Everyone can have a bad set. Yeah, the real question is, can you battle through it and s s keep the match? That's a sign of the champion if you can play, play bad and win. Yeah. So a little update on other matches that are going on currently. Actually, uh, of course, we all know about uh, Shane Van Boning versus Lee Van Corteza, beating him 10-0. Um, Lee Ri Teng uh, beating Jose Alberto Delgado, 10-4. Ko Pin Chung, 10-1 uh, over Carlo Biado. And uh, Moritz New Newhausen, 10-3 over Do The Kind. And uh, the matches that are currently going, uh, Wu Kun Lin is 3-5 down against Mario He. Nuyuki Oi is 4-2 up against John Mora. Chang Yu Lung is tied up with Billy Thorpe at 2-2. And back to this match, Anton Raga 6-4 ahead of Jason Shaw. Nice break by Raga. Yeah, open table. Yeah, 
ominous, ominous signs. I've got to say, this is 7-4 in the making. And breaking if he, if he runs out here, which means, you know, if he gets his breakdown. I mean, we, we, we say it's a given, but how many times did we see players mess up and... <laughs> Yeah, and it's never a gimme. You've got this number of balls on the table. Yeah. Um, believe me, I know how to mess stuff up like this. <laughs> me too. There's plenty of ways to go wrong. <laughs> We've all we, done it. We don't usually expect it from these, you know, players of this caliber. But there's so many moving parts to this game. Someone's written the Chinese eight ball. The, the prize money will steal all the players soon. Well, they do have a ridiculous prize money. 750,000 for first in one of their tournaments. I mean, that's proper money, right? Yeah. And a very large viewing audience. Yeah. I read somewhere that there's more snooker tables in Shanghai than in the whole of Britain. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it, yeah. They're all snooker crazy now. And they will take over the snooker world. In the years to come, yeah. It'll be all Chinese. All the top players will be Chinese. In the next, say, 10 years or so. We'll see about that. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong, but uh, that's the way it's looking like. Right, it's going to cut this in the side. He's seeing if the seven goes past the nine. It looks like it does. Or he could play around the seven, between the rail and the seven, just like this, and have perfect shape. Like he's just going to draw back then and play the eight into the yeah the short left side. Hand. That's pretty perfect. Yeah, and just draw to the rail now. Play the nine the long way. Mm -hmm. Anton's probably thinking, "I've played bad so far in this set. I can't play any worse." So let's. Get my act together. Yeah, to be seven four ahead, knowing you can do better. Yeah. Yeah, he's played terrible for his standards, and he's seven four ahead. Asia will take over the billiards scene soon. Someone's written. No Chinese players won the world championship in snooker yet. No, no, no. Good point. Ding Jong Wei was predicted to. Mm -hmm. Millions of people back home watching him and yeah, expecting yeah. him to. Yeah. I've got to say, the quality of your stream is awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. And I've That's done a, a lot of commentary over the years, and it's probably the best I've ever seen. Yeah, they've got a little team here, and they do a great job. Mr. G in production over there giving us a thumbs up for that comment. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. I'm sure all the viewers would agree. I mean, awesome clarity. We've worked really hard at trying to perfect this over the last, I don't know, five years. Uh -huh, you've done a great job. Keep it up. You're going to play the 3-9 combination? In a shot's time. Um, He's going to shoot the two and not scratch. That's it's pretty difficult to get right behind it because you want to be straight on it. I'm not sure if he'll play that shot. We will see. You might be right. Because he can't stay up there. It's got quite a big angle. It looks like he could come between the eight and seven, play the three in the side. 
Or yeah, and that was well, the plan. The ball. That was the plan, but he's missed the ball. Easy jump shot for Jason. And Jason could have a 3-9 combo if he lands good on it. Take a little look at this. Rest shot. Yeah. See, for a snooker player, this is a hanger. Yeah, I know the American players always like to avoid the rest at all costs. Yeah, and they... yeah, yeah. Might not even need to jump this. Okay, he's jumping, yeah. Should have some sort of combination on the nine after this. Oh, he's Caught trying to come first. around. That was a little bit risky. Uh, unlucky there. Yeah. Was he trying to catch the rail first, do you think? I don't think he did. No, I think he's he's, he's jumping directly at the ball here. No, he got the rail first, yeah. Yeah. And that wasn't a terrible attempt at getting underneath it, if that's what he was playing. Yeah, it was a bit tricky, though. It's a good cue ball. It's a good cue ball. Behind the nine. He is behind the nine. Yeah, nice shot. Wow. We had to pluck one out out of the middle of nowhere. He's got to go airborne. He's going to try and uh, maybe cross bank it in the side. I don't think he can see it full ball. Because you can't jump over the 7 2. You're saying jump over the nine. Or the kick. Yeah, he's going to play the kick. Yeah, he's going to kick here. Yeah. Oh, he, he wants his cue ball where the six is behind the six. Let's see if he pull, pulls this off. If he catches it like three-quarter ball, that's very possible. Oh, wow. It was close, right? He got wow. a nice roll there. Jason not too pleased. But it's got to get some spin on this. Yeah, he got a nice spin on that. And it's a pretty good leave, is it? No. Oh, lucky there. Sticks it up. I'm not sure if the five is uh, come and help Jason yet. It doesn't part. So that's a pretty good roll for Jason. Hmm, this is tricky. I think I just... What's he doing? He's carrying him on the five. Oh, no. Wow, what a shot. Good, good attempt. No, he's left this up. And that's just crept out too. Chance for Jason. Looking ahead, he might have a little problem with the six ball. Might have to play it long off the five. Or in the same pocket as the five. Or the combination on the nine. Yeah, but you have to that. get right behind it. So yeah. you want to avoid that, really. You don't like that shot unless you're straight on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's no need, is there? Next place. Other, other pockets. Yeah. Plays behind it. Long. Ooh. Didn't look like it was good at first. Not the best the of rail. angles, yeah. Might have just just stop your rock there. He's going forward behind the nine with spin. Is he? What is he doing? Yeah, just take the shot. It's a tricky, tricky shot, isn't it? No, this is a hanger. No problem. Yeah, no problem okay. at all. On a snooker table, that was a tough shot. Yeah. <laughs> And sometimes if it gets a, a a kick or a skid or whatever, that shot becomes and yeah, yeah. finds a way to miss itself sometimes, or maybe it's just me. But Yeah, in snooker system. and other Q sports, you tend to get more kicks, but not so much in American pool. Wisely taking a timeout. He's back in the mix. Yep, definitely. 7-5. In a race to 10 and breaking. And let's have a look, see updates on uh, any of those those other matches that are going on. 
Nukio Oi has extended his lead to 6 2. Wu Kunlin is uh, 4 5 behind Mario He. Uh, Chang Yulung is 5 2 up against Billy Thorpe. And they were 2 2 last time I looked. That Billy Thorpe needs to kick it into high gear. And Jason Shaw is coming back in this match. He now trails five to seven against Anton Raga. Got to say, uh, shout out to the chefs at this pool room. Yeah, very nice food. Yeah, and that is some Jason. good Korean stuff as well. Yeah, Jason Shaw's mum. Okay, she's Jason Shaw's wife's mum. Uh, okay, mother-in-law. Yeah, mother-in-law. Uh, Runs the uh, runs the kitchen and I've heard good things. I haven't ha haven't tried it yet. I have to have to run out after this and grab some. Oh, he's got a nice nice pool hall here. Yeah, very nice. All nine nine footers. Four dartboards. And actually, has a couple more nine foot tables usually, uh, and they they've kind of spread them out here, and moved a couple of them out just to create this little uh, arena area um, that they've got these uh, the two stream tables on. You don't usually see um, pool rooms in America with all nine-foot tables. You usually right. have a, a couple of That's right. seven-foots at least. I don't know if he had any seven-foots before and he took them out for the tournament, but... Uh... No, I don't think so. And, uh, okay. Yeah, he was, he was saying, yeah, no, he's not a fan of them. It's his place. A lot of the Americans call this the big table. The big table. That's right. <laughs> yeah. It is. This is the big table. And for us, it's a small table, obviously, coming from did. snooker. Yeah. yeah. But you're a pool player now. It's been a long time yeah, since you've played snooker. Yeah, I'm a pool player guys. now. Yeah. Ancient let's, history. Let's stop that reference about snooker now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how long has it been since you've uh, been a pro pool player? Um, I started in 2001, so professionally 22 years yeah mm -hmm. still can't get the one ball in the side come on where, where's your yeah. luck there you go <laughs> there he... he's, he's hooked on the two now <laughs> but it's better than hanging the one well done and he's got a kicking stick here on the two ball he can kick the two ball down table and leave the cue ball right there behind the nine A little humorous fist pump there from Jason with that little last lucky roll to kick that one ball in. And there's Nicely executed. There's, there's that kick and stick that you described. Yep. Anton's going for going for the pitching wedge. Someone's asked what's the prize pool? I know it's 15,000 to the winner. He's got a good chance to make the eight ball here. Yeah, that's exactly what he went for. Great shot. He does jump very well for a Filipino. Usually Filipinos don't jump that well oh, yeah. because, you know, they, they've mastered the art of kicking. But um, It's a new generation now, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a new generation. He's probably the best jumper I've seen coming out of the Philippines. Yeah, Jason Shaw's little moment of good luck. Not helping him much.
And Raga is going to be a, a real force to contend with in these uh, matchroom events now on the World Nine Ball Tour. He's had uh, two great finishes in the last two tournaments. Um, yeah, I don't think any players are going to be looking forward to draw him. Yeah, he's all business, isn't he? Probably plan to be a little bit straighter on this nine ball. No problem. Center of the pocket. Yeah, and here's this jump shot that got him back into this this match. He sees the eight ball hanging. Good, great. Great little jump shot. And Jason Shaw has just got to sort of sit there and meditate a little bit and be ready. It is a race to 10. You just want to make sure your opponent doesn't get to 9. Gentleman in the green shirt back there, he's the pool table technician. He... Uh, he put all the bedcloth on and leveled all the tables. I've known him for many years, yes. A little chit-chat with him yesterday. Nice guy. Every time I come to the States, he religiously watches my match. He comes and sits right next to my match and watches it. Does he? Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. He's an Imran fan. Yeah. As am I. Oh, thank you. I'm a fan of you too now. Yeah, now that you've met me today. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, it makes it look easy, doesn't it? That's how you're supposed to break. Yeah, Raga's break has um, been more effective in this match than Jason's, got to say. And he looks actually pretty nice on this two ball to dance around the nine ball and get on the three and got, got himself a chance to get to the hill yeah and I wouldn't bet against it And he does have really good control of his cue ball. He's, I've noticed this a lot. He, he's not afraid to get close to other balls. He knows exactly the path he's going to take. Yeah, stays in line very well and close to the object ball, yeah. Almost Efron-esque in that regard, yeah. Cue ball on a string. That might become a new word that he's just invented. Efron-esque. Needs to go a little bit. Oh, nice bump. Yep, friend, a friendly little kiss on the seven. Well... It's almost certainly going to make this nine ball and uh, get on the hill here. And if he makes another break like that, it could be curtains. But Jason is going to be sitting ready, waiting, hoping that he gets a chance and then plan on, uh, you know, running the next five out, which is not really completely unimaginable, is it? We've got a strong field, but saying that, a lot of players are at another tournament somewhere in America. 
Yeah, there's a Michigan tournament going on. Is that right, uh, Mr. G? That's right, yeah. Yeah, a lot of top European players are there as well. I know the Polish contingent are there. And uh, maybe the Austrians like Albin and Max are there as well. So. Yeah, a lovely break. Mario, he is here. Oh, got snookered by the seven. There we go, and that's what Jason Shaw needed. Okay, we might have action. This match is not over yet. Someone's asked me, do I have a snooker table? Sheikh Ahmed, no, I don't have a snooker table. There's so many snooker clubs in London uh, on every street corner. You don't need to have one in your house. What do they call you? Is that a new nickname? Um, never heard of it. <laughs> okay. So there's a push. What does Jason do here? Does he give it back? Okay. He's I'm surprised he would give it back. Why would? You I mean, it's not a straightforward safety. We'll see what Anton does. Yeah, good choice by Jason. wasn't wasn't easy to execute that safe there. You'd rather be shooting this shot than have laid it. I'd rather be shooting this shot. Yeah, and now, now you can play a real good safety. You can you can weld him under the nine as well if you want. Um, you can go behind the seven. You've got options. Yeah, you can play the bank, which he went for. Pros like to attack. They have the mentality, if, if I get this shot, I could possibly yeah. win the match, not the rack, the whole match, you know, run a few racks yeah. from that shot. And, you know, it, ha it happens quite a lot. And Anton sights behind the eight. Yeah, perfectly welded. Oh, wow. Yeah, he hit that really well. Uh, Jason's got to take a flyer at this. I don't think... Uh, he can predict what's going to happen here. Not the worst outcome. Yeah, I mean, he's left a clear shot on the two. There is definitely a cut on the two all the way up. Just looking at that four, whether it tied up or not. I think it goes. Yeah, the four does go. I think he's going to go for this two. Looks yeah. like he's... Um, he makes it. He's got a good chance here. Looks like he's shaping up for the cut in the corner. Touch of left hand English. Center pocket. Nice shot. He plays with a lot of spin, Anton, from what I've seen. And he doesn't mind using an extra rail and going further to get a little bit better position. A little bit closer to his work, yeah. Yeah, so the tournament will come to a conclusion today, someone's asked. Yeah, we'll finish tonight. Yeah. Wants to maintain an angle to get on this nine, which he has done. Yeah, just two rails. Cuba will float just past the side pocket. Uh, may catch the third rail. No, that is just perfect. Thank you very much. Well, Jason Shaw made a valiant effort. Anton Raga goes through. 
to the semifinal. 